Christian Gospels. It's not found. And for the longest times, Christians would ridicule. Look at these Muslims, they have these weird and bizarre stories. Around 150 years ago, in Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanelungu, back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanelungu, and on this channel, we do reaction videos, but other than that, we've got other things that you do, and for everything that you that I've mentioned, you can find in the description box below. Get stuff from the previous video. So as you can tell from the title today, a big shout out to everyone that's been liking and everything else, and a big shout out to the person that suggested this. Today I'll be reacting to the Gospel of Saint Thomas and the Miracle of Muhammad, Dr. Yasi Kadi. So we got with seeing time, let's get into the video. Stories of the previous prophets. Stories of the previous prophets. Now, how is this a miracle? How is it a miracle that he's talking about the stories of the previous prophets? For many reasons. First and foremost, one needs to realize how uneducated Arabia was. One needs to understand when we think of, let's say, the jungles of Brazil. Would they know the people in those lands that are cut off from civilization? Would they know the histories of medieval Europe, let's say? Think about it. That, uh, of course, the problem now is you have the internet. When I imagine, and even by the way, those tribes don't have the internet. But I'm just imagine that you didn't have these means of communication, these means of inter connectivity, and you came across a civilization cut off from all others, and they know the histories of all other civilizations. Even the names of the Abrahamic prophets, the Judeo Christian prophets, were not known to the Arabs. Why should they? Why should they know the stories of Yusuf and Ya'qub? Why should they care about Ishaq? Why should they? that branch was unrelated to them? They preserved Ibrahim and Ismail, yes, right? But Ishaq onwards is irrelevant to them. Is that not correct, right? They have no idea. They have vague idea of Isa, but that's it. They don't know anything. And that is why when the Quraysh went to Medina, and they said, give us some test quiz questions. One of the questions was, ask him about Yusuf and his brothers. Remember we did the whole tafsir of Yusuf. Ask him about, because who knows Joseph and his brothers. There was not a single library in all of Mecca, in all of Arabia. The Bible had not yet been translated into Arabic. Imagine this, right? There's not a single library in the entire peninsula. In the whole city of Mecca, less than five or ten people can read and write. Even if they can read and write, there is no Bible to read. If they could even acquire it. Imagine all of this, right? In the middle of this environment, an unlettered shepherd with no education begins telling the detailed stories of the biblical flood of Adam and Hawa, which was not something the Arabs cared about, of Ishaq and Yaqub and Yusuf, of Isa, of Musa, another Look at how many stories of Musa in the Quran. And Allah mentions in the Quran, ما كنت تعلمها أنت ولا قومك من قبل هذا. Neither you nor your people knew these stories before, uh, before this Quran came down. And of the most interesting, tangible, if you like, evidences for this, is that the Quran preserves some stories of Jesus Christ that are not found in the New Testament to this day and yet were discovered recently in sources outside the New Testament. And I will give you some concrete examples. All of us as Muslims know the story of Isa speaking from his mother's cradle, from the hands of his mother. Most of us Muslims in this audience are not aware that this story is simply not found in the New Testament. It's not found. None of the Gospels of Matthew or Mark or Luke, none of them have it. Also, all of us as Muslims know that the Quran mentions in three occasions the story of Isa and the birds blowing into it and they becoming real birds. Again, you will be surprised as Muslims to know that this story is simply not mentioned in the canonical 
Christian Gospels. It's not found. And for the longest times, Christians would ridicule. Look at these Muslims, they have these weird and bizarre stories. Around 150 years ago, in Egypt, a interesting monastery was discovered in the desert. And in it, there was the body of a monk from the 4th century CE, before the coming of Islam. 4th century CE. And the body of this monk belonged to a sect of Christianity that was lost, it's gone. And in the scrolls, sorry not the scrolls, in the, what do you call the coffin, there were scrolls, that's what I meant to say. Multiple scrolls. And this, these scrolls contained gospels that are beyond the four canonical gospels. You guys following this? Of them is a gospel, now you should know that Constantine and others in 325 CE, they basically got rid of all of the other gospels. There were lots of gospels. And Constantine ordered these four to be chosen, others later after him, it's not just Constantine, but later, and the, these four became the canonical, all the rest were destroyed. And to this day, most of them are destroyed. Once in a while we come across something from the ancient times. This was one of the most significant discoveries in the 18... 70 I think, some, some, like basically last 19th century, 150 years ago. One of these Gospels was the Gospel of St. Thomas. And it is now available on Amazon, you can Google the Gospel of St. Thomas. It was one of the lost Gospels. And in the Gospel of St. Thomas, we have both of these stories. The story of Jesus speaking as a baby, and the story of the birds being becoming real birds. And it is amazing that for literally 13 centuries, these stories were not known to any Christian community. Any. They're only found in the Quran. And yet, and this is not, I'm giving you a concrete example. Look it up. Go look, buy the book, the, the, the Gospel of St. Thomas. Purchase it, read it for yourself. And you find these two stories are not found in the actual canonical Gospels. And yet they are found in the Gospel of St. Thomas. And as Allah says in the Quran, you were not there, you didn't know it, your people did not know it, but Allah gave you this wahi. And this is clearly a miracle of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Um, this is very, very interesting to come across. I like coming across people that talk about facts. The fact that he's talking about something that has been erased. We should be asking ourselves, questions as to why some of these um, Gospels were erased. It really, really doesn't make sense to me. Otherwise, like he said, there is proof out there, you can buy it off Amazon, whatever the case is. But other than this, there was another book that I was told about. What are they trying to keep away from us by um, getting rid of them? I really don't understand. But even if you get rid of something, there's always someone with a copy, someone, not for everything, but for some things, there's always someone with a copy out there and the truth will come out. Whatever you've hidden will come out. And then people will learn and people will know. And I guess hopefully they won't be so adamant or so naive to push that information away. Once you get information like this, I feel like even if you don't believe it, you can look into it. Looking into it doesn't mean you're um, doubting yourself or doubting what you've grown up to learn or no, you've grown up to, or whatever you've just been brought up on. Research, 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 research. Researching is the key word here. I don't even know what I want to say, but just research whatever is presented before you otherwise this was something interesting and a big shout out to the person that requested the gospel of saint thomas and the miracle of muhammad thank you for requesting this video and i couldn't finish it last time because i think my battery got low and it just went off so i'm finishing it now thank you this was something i enjoyed reacting to uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video